In part 9 of the Spring Security Series, we take it a step further. Today we will create a custom security filter. First we are going to look at the information on the Spring I.O. website. Then we will continue in Eclipse and create our own security filter. You can find a good explanation of the setup of security filters on the Spring Security site. We start with the filter chain of the Spring Framework. Spring Security creates a security filter chain in which all security filters are placed. In the last diagram you can see that it is possible to configure different security filter chain beans. We have already covered this in one of the previous parts in this series. Furthermore, you will also find a list of all the filters that Spring Security can configure. Now we are going to create a filter in Eclipse and place it in this list. Back in Eclipse, we want to go over the classes that are important when creating a custom filter. First, we'll look at the Application Properties file. Here we set the log level of Spring Security to Trace, which is the highest level. Now we go to our new class My Security Filter. Our filter extends once per request filter and override one method, do filter. As you can see the filter won't do much yet, it will just write a message to the console. A very important line is filter chain do filter. Here we instruct it to go to the next filter in the security filter chain. You can also see that a second message is written to the console. This code is executed after all the filters in the filter chain have been passed. You will be able to see this later after we start the project. In order for Spring Security to use our new filter, we need to register the filter in our configuration class. You can see here the new code add filter before. Here we place the filter in the filter chain and in the correct place. In this case it is before username password authentication filter. Now we can start our project and see in the console what the new filter does. In the console, we can see the list of security filters. The first filter in a list of 16 is Disable Encode URL Filter. In place 7 you will see our My Security Filter, followed by the message Before Filter Chain. Next is the Username Password Authentication Filter. You can follow the list of filters up to filter 16. After all the filters are gone through you will see the second message of our filter after filter chain. Now that we know how the security filter chain works we can configure our filter. We are going to customize our project with a third ability to log in. We're going to be able to log in with a special header. Now we can go to Insomnia to see what we are trying to own with our My Security Filter. First we go to Insomnia to see what is the purpose of our new security filter. We are going to create a new login with two headers. An xMyFilter login and xMyFilter password. As you can see this doesn't work yet, we need to configure our filter first. Back to Eclipse. We have come to the point of going over the security filter code. In the first if statement we check if both headers are present. If they are not present we just continue with the next filter in the filter chain. In the second if statement we check that both headers contain the correct text. In this case it is developer and password. If the headers do not contain the correct text the filter chain stops and we return an error to the response. If all is well we create a new security context holder and pass it along to the next filter in the security filter chain. Here you can see that we are not modifying the security context holder, but creating a new one. We can now go to Insomnia to test everything. In Insomnia, we can test the filter. Without the headers we get back an unauthorized as response. With headers but a wrong password we get a forbidden with the response you are not the developer. Only if everything is correct we get the expected response from our project. That's it for today. In the next part we will further customize our custom filter. Thank you. Like. Comment. Share. And subscribe.